So Chantelise was a game that when I originally got it, I was like, oh, I love the rest of your series. I want to play this. And then I realized this is not Reseteer. Nobody cares. You can't skip this. You can't skip it. Anyway, um, there's plenty of cutscenes that can't be skipped in games, so like I can't judge it on that, right? Um, so one of the issues with this game, and we'll play it for a bit so that I can, so that I can give you a looky look. Um, it sucks. <laughs> so. <sighs> so in Reseteer, you had this thing where you were like a shop owner and the game basically ran around that. And then you had the side thing, which wasn't as fun, but it was the dungeon crawling aspect. And you would like walk around as a hero and kill things in a dungeon. And it was kind of shit, but it was like part of the game. So it wasn't the main aspect. Um, so now it's the main aspect. And you're like, well, Isaac, if it's the main aspect, surely they've improved it. Surely something, something there um, allows you to have some kind of something that makes the game more fun, right? So besides this really hard to read cursive. That uh, doesn't seem to ever fucking end. Basically, she's like, oh, fairies and stuff. Oh, that's great. Uh huh. Just can't skip it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh-uh. No. Can't skip it. And you go on an adventure with your fairy. And you're, um... You're not owning a shop. Which was mainly the reason that I bought it. Uh-huh. And you're like, well, it's like, it's kind of stylized, right? It's... Here's the plot. 
more plot. What does the plot have to do? I'm sure there's some kind of something. Considering the boss, once again, it's not terrible on its own. Um, my other thing is, why am I pushing a button in order to uh, pick things up? But whatever, it's fine. That's that's an expected part of the game. She does magic for you, and that's pretty cool. We like magic. And now we have nothing. So, what's the object of this game, you say? Um, well, it's not to have a shop, it's to, uh, do these very repeatable dungeons um, in this overworld with literally the combat that you've seen so far with the, the changes being, oh, well, she can, she can cast magic, right? That's pretty cool. But the issue is it's so fucking hard to control that there's no reason to cast magic. I'm using a controller. On keyboard, this game is so much worse. It's so much worse. I wait, what am I supposed to be doing here? Like, we, were we supposed to kill all the enemies? Did I miss something? Sequel to rest here. What's this? All right. Oh, it instant uses the wall pepper. Unlike in rest here, where you could hold on to it. That was that was a neat feature that that game had. So basically, it just grabbed all the assets from rest here, and then just was like, yo, we can make it. We can make a game. can't pick them up forever. She's so hungry, she just... She just eats them. Once again, if I could... I can't even pick this up. Why can't I pick this up? items and then sell them to the shop, I wouldn't necessarily care, but like the simple fact that you just use up the items as soon as you get them, and the game is just 100% combat focus, I'm like, why am I doing this? Why am I trying to live my life? This isn't, this isn't what, this isn't what Rome's about. somebody can explain like what the main drive of this game is if you have like a really great love of this game explain to me why i would want to keep playing it because it's not the same thing and it's not what i wanted and i felt like it was advertised as the same thing even though it came out after reseteer because it's literally the same sprites like that i'm pretty sure era is just like a reskin of the housewife. Because I know this old man here is literally just the old man from the other thing. She looks like the lost girl. This looks like the guy that always buys shit. These are pigeons. Enjoy them. I don't know who that is. There were no little boys. 
Wait, why were there no little boys in Resident Evil? That was weird. There's little girls. And then we can like... I want to buy this, but I can't. Okay. I want to do this. I want to have the ha the shop. She's like, oh, I have a shop. And I'm like, oh, that's great. Can I have it? No. Wait, is it trap? You're going to get stuck by him. Oh my god. Everybody is a trap at this point. Yeah, no. This game very much felt like... I just bought... I just did the full tutorial accidentally. I don't think I can leave after I actually select that. But do you understand, like, why I was a little frustrated when I played this? It was such a huge disappointment that I, I didn't feel the need to keep, like, playing. I, I didn't feel like this was worth my time, and it has sat in the back of my Steam library for ages because of it. All I wanted was a sequel, and this was like, here's a sequel, but it's not. And that's, that's not what, that's not what Rome is about. 